Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Kujo here. I'm going to show you a very quick tutorial on how to set up Exodus to work exactly like Netflix. I'll do a demonstration with movies, and then I'll follow up with a demonstration on how you can play your TV episodes back to back. First off, let's go over to the Exodus app. Press and hold the select button while you're at the Exodus app, like so. Go ahead and click on settings when this menu pops up. In this next menu on the general tab where it says providers timeout, go ahead and change that to 18. This is all you'll do in this tab. Next, go to the playback tab. Under where it says default action, go ahead and change directory and change that to where it says autoplay. Right below that it says process dialog. Go ahead and change that to where it says background. Make sure under max quality that this is set to 4K. You want to make sure that it's at 4K because what we're doing is telling Exodus to search for the best quality first and the worst quality last. Next, go to your providers tab. This is very important. If you get lost here, please rewind and rewatch this again. This is very important. What we're going to do is eliminate all of those searches that ask you to sign up for a website. If you guys had ever picked from that list menu, sometimes you'd get pop-ups, go to this website, so and so. We're gonna eliminate that right now. So under providers, you're gonna turn the following providers off and do it exactly the way I'm doing it here. Dizzy Gold, turn that off. Go down to where it says Movie Free, turn that off. Where it says Online Dizzy, turn that off. Where it says uh, right here Torba, turn that off. And then last but not least, where it says X Movies, turn that off. Go ahead and make sure you click OK here. If you do not click OK, everything you just did is thrown out of the window. So make sure you save it by clicking OK. All right, let's go into Exodus and I'll do a quick movie demonstration. Actually, let me go ahead and start with TV shows since we're here. TV shows and movies should work exactly the same way. I'm going to pick a movie that I can uh, get through pretty, or a show that I can get pretty quickly so the second episode loads. And I'll show you how to do that. First, you want to make sure that you play the episode that you want to watch first. So let's go ahead and play that. Now, if you look closely in the upper right hand corner, all of the loading is now happening in the background where before it would happen right in front of your main screen. All of this is real time. I'm doing this with my Fire Stick remote. Now that the episode is playing, you want to hit the back button on your Amazon remote and then where it says chapter 2 or episode 2 click and hold the select button so the menu comes up go ahead and click on where it says cue item and then to go back to watching the episode that you just selected go ahead and hit left on the black round circle around the select button this menu will pop up go ahead and click down on the four arrows now you're back to the episode you were just watching when you're using this watch episode, episode kind of thing, you want to make sure that you guys leave at least 30 seconds of the credits playing. If you don't do this, the second episode that you queued will not load and Cody will crash. So you got to make sure that when you're fast forwarding, that you don't fast forward beyond the episode length so I don't want to fast forward beyond a minute seven because you can do that and then Cody doesn't recognize that you're beyond the movie and then Cody will crash so I'm gonna fast forward this and get as close to as 40 seconds as possible remaining and then if we did this correctly I should let the episode end and the next episode will start right away So if you saw the timeline there, there was about 40 seconds left. This is all real time, unedited, uncut.
Now we're approaching the very end of the episode. Oh, okay. Now this loading screen will start and the episode that you just queued, which is episode two, should restart right now. It's loading it. This is all real time, unedited, uncut. And there you go, there it loaded episode two, right there. It works exactly the same with movies. I'll go ahead and start a movie right quick. Hopefully we have enough time. Same thing, the movie should load almost instantly. And remember, this is all based off of your personal internet connection. You guys may be faster than slower than I am. And while this thing loads, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please make sure that you like and you share this. Let's help all of those other folks that are out there using Kodi. Uh, be able to use it a little bit easier and there you go guys right there just loaded right up thank you guys so much for sh for watching be sure to like share and subscribe and thank you I'm out